What is up guys, today we are back with another Mr. War review YouTube video for you guys and today we're going to be talking about Scream 5 a little bit and like what my theory is on Scream 5 and like when, like what they should do with it since there's going to be a new director since Wes Craven passed away, rip, rip Wes Craven by the way. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's going to be the YouTube video for today guys and if you guys did like part one from yesterday for my horror review, um, Part two is coming out. It's just taking a little bit while to like upload to the YouTube, to like my YouTube channel. So don't you guys worry. Part two is coming for you guys soon. And if you guys haven't already watched part one, if you guys did not, okay. Okay, let's get to the video. So we're outside again. I think it's really it's beautiful out where I live. So let's. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, guys, grab your drinks. not did you get mango or something yeah i got my laptop but my theory just in case we need it my theory is um Stu Stu mocker from scream one just to come back um i watched this guy critical overload he's such a good like his youtube videos are really good and like um you guys should go watch him. He has a bunch of Scream 5 news out. He is really good at it. He's grinding for you guys. He's amazing. So make sure you guys go watch his videos. Um, but yeah. So I think Stu Mocker should return. He was spoiler alert for you guys. If you guys did not watch the first Scream movie. This is your chance. I, I warned you. Stu Mocker was the killer in the first Scream. Along with Billy Loomis. But you know Billy Loomis got a gunshot to the head. So he's dead. He's There's like no return for him but I mean like Stu he only got a TV toss on his head he could he could have died but he could have like minor like I mean like not minor but like he could have a, suffered really bad injuries but he could still survive but my theory Stu Mocker should return he should uh Jill Roberts should still be alive I believe or something like that um they are, they're in the jail cell they meet in the jail cell Excuse me, and that's where you get to hear Stu Mocker's voice appear, like, in the opening credit, like, not the opening credits, but, like, when Jill Roberts is getting her, like, when she's getting in jail, like, when she's going to jail and she's getting whatever charges and, like, whatever, like, whatever, like, if she's getting executed or how many days or, like, whatever, if she's getting max years in jail, like, whatever it is for killing the friends of, you know, yeah. Sydney and college. I don't think there's any college people that survived. Maybe Kirby survived. I mean, I think she, she returned too as um, not knowing what happened, like as not knowing like that Jill was the killer and she's blinded by it and Sydney's telling her, oh, uh, your friend was the killer. She killed students and she only knew that Charlie was the killer and she didn't know that Jill and she doesn't know what to believe. And then she finds out that Jill's in jail, blah, blah, blah. She's the killer. Um, but then I don't think we should use the ghost face outfit for Jill only because we know that she's the killer. But for Stu, we don't really know that he's still in it. Um, but, like, I think in the opening credits, you should kind of have, like, a recap of, like, the f like, like you hear, like, Stu's voice from, like, the first scream saying, like, like, you got to play on the sequel, all that, blah, blah, blah. Like, just, like, you know. Just words from him saying, oh, he might, like, a tease. That's, oh, he might come back. But, like, I think that's what they should do. They should have him only wearing the suit. Because we don't know. Because we already know Jill is the killer. So, like, I think Jill should just, like, have gloves on or whatever. So, the detectives can't. Well, there's no point in doing that. Because, like, the detectives probably already know that she broke out. So, then she's just killing people as, like, her, like, not wearing the outfit. I think that would be pretty cool. Um... Uh, I think that they should have a twist on it. That makes any sense. So, like, Kirby doesn't know. Kirby should be working with, like, uh, Stu. That would be a good twist. Like, she was mad that, that, what's his name? I can't, uh, Charlie. Charlie was, she was mad that Charlie, like, like, you know, said, oh, now you notice me. She, she got mad because he killed her and he was in love with him and, um, yeah, I think that would be a good twist, and she's just sick of it. Her friend is the killer, 
just to give it, he's working, she's working with Stu, so we can have another Ghostface outfit wearing that, and I would bring back Roger L. Jackson for the voice actor, I think that's an iconic voice actor, I think, I, I really like him, but what he does, his voice is just so scary, like, I'm not, I'm scared of it, but I mean, it just kind of brings that energy to the movie, but yeah, I think you should have Stu as the killer, in jail, so they meet, they plan to escape, uh, they run out of jail or whatever, but they don't, you don't really get to see Stu. Like, you're saying, oh, who is that? Is that just a random guy? Like, he doesn't even talk. You can just see him staring at Jill or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think that would be good. I would kill off one of the lead rules. I'm not saying it has to be Sydney. Like, it can be Dewey or Gale. But I think Gale was like, mm, it was like, she was like this close from dying in Scream 4 from that stab thon but yeah I think you should kill one of the lead roles off just to make it like so no one's safe bring in a couple of new characters so you kind of have to like you know kill them off and like well we still got the sheriff that Dewey works with but I think she should die one of the lead roles should die actually no I don't think Judy should die I think one of the lead roles should die um the yeah, so I think um the two killers would turn on Jill like, at the end, they would just, like, turn on him, re reveal that she, Kirby was the killer, and that she was working with them all along. So, yeah, um, but, like, I don't think we know when it's gonna start, like, you know, I don't think we know that they're gonna, like, we don't know, like, when they're gonna start working on it, only because, like, the virus and all that that's going around. So, I mean, like, it's kind of, like, it's kind of weird. So, I mean, like... Yeah, so we don't really know when we're, they're gonna release anything yet. We only know like that's a, like a girl returning to Woodsboro, her small town, or whatever. Uh, that's like yeah. So I mean like sorry, there's a bug on me. So yeah, we only know like so that could be Kirby, but it kind of sounds like Scream Four a lot only because you know um, Sydney was returning to her hometown. She was who committing these vicious murders and all that. So, yeah, I think we should have Kirby as the killer and Stu Mocker as the killer, but we don't really know he's in the movie yet, and Jill as the killer. So, yeah, I think that would be really, really good um, of what's coming. So, yeah, that if you guys really enjoyed that plot twist and all that, and the plot, like, not really the plot, I didn't really plot it out, but, like, who should be the killers and who should die and all that. So, if you guys do enjoy that video, excuse me, make sure you guys do, like, smash that like button and um if you guys smash that like button oh thank you guys for the 10 subscribers by the way i really appreciate that and if we if we smash five likes on this video i will do another video like this another you know scream five related video or if you guys want me to see a scream tv series video of who i thought was the killer of season three was before it got rebooted so make sure you guys do smash that like button if you guys do want to see that thank you guys for the um you know support so this has been mr horror review thank you guys for the support Bye bye